Hey you guys, so I know I usually post content regarding funding your education debt free, but today I'm gonna to post about something a little different, so keep watching. On October 31st, 1999, my life changed forever. I chose Jesus. This week marks the 20 year anniversary since choosing Jesus in my life. And yes, I count the years because this was so life changing for me. Um, you know, I've been asked to share my testimony, so here's a snippet. After watching my parents choose Jesus for themselves, I noticed a transformation in their lives and within our household. So as a little girl in elementary school, I wanted that for myself. A sweet woman at my church, she once told me, this will be the best decision of your life. And she was so right. I mean, never did I realize that having God in my life would mean that I would have a forever partner in this life during the good and the bad. When I was in the sixth grade, I was bullied. Um, the bullying got so bad that my parents had to get the assistant principal involved. I went from looking forward to going to school to crying every morning before school. My mom would drive me to school and we would do a mother-daughter Bible study in the car in the parking lot. And then we would pray together and I would dry my tears and I would walk into school. I felt so invisible at school, but I knew I wasn't invisible to God and that he cared for me and that he was with me. And knowing that gave me the confidence that I needed. And that's when I truly began to experience God in my life. And I realized how much he loves me. When I was 11, I fractured my skull riding my bike, and yes, with my helmet. <laughs> um, doctors discussed putting metal plates in my head. Um, between then and my next appointment, my family and I prayed. When I got back to the follow-up appointment, I remember the doctor <laughs> looked shocked and said, you don't need metal plates, your head looks fine. God had done a miracle, and even the doctor looked shocked. I started dating in high school and continued through college, and after college, I found myself single after a serious long-term relationship. Although our breakup was amicable, I felt so heartbroken. It was through God that I was reminded that my heart was whole with Him and not broken, and that's when true healing began. I took a break from dating and began to really focus on God and myself. And I learned that there's nothing wrong with you just because you're single. And I also learned that God has a special plan for you in this season of singleness. It was during this season that God put the dream in my heart to create what is now the Student Navigator and then to become an author and then to become a speaker. When I was 21, I had made a list of all the different things that I wanted to do and accomplish and where I wanted to be by the age of 25 and here I am 26 years old and following the path that God had for my life was way better than beyond anything I could have imagined for my life. Friends, this world can be tough. I don't know what you've gone through. I don't know what you're going through. But if it's one thing that I've learned is that having God in your life helps. <laughs> he loves you and he made you with a purpose. Your heart is safe with him. This week marked the 20 years since choosing Jesus. And I just want to thank God publicly for all that he's done in my life. I would not be where I am today without him. He's the king of my heart. Thank you, Jesus.